Assalamualaikum. Today's topic is digitalis poisoning, also known as digitalis purpura or digitoxin or digitalin. It is a cardiac poison and is written in chapter number 57 of Parekh. It is collected from a plant known as foxglove. The most potent parts are roots, leaves and seeds. These parts contain glycosides. There are four main glycosides, digitoxin, digitalin, digitalin and digitonin. These glycosides act directly on the heart. The signs and symptoms include, these are divided in three to four parts for your convenience. The first one are the most um, general ones like nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain and diarrhea. The other are headache and giddiness. The third group is, these are the most specific ones for digitalis. These are stomach irritation, decreased heart rate, which can lead to heart block. There can be extra systoles and ventral, ventricular fibrillation. And the fourth group is decreased respiration, which can lead to coma and convulsions. The fatal dose of this compound is about 4 mg. And the fatal period is about half an hour to 24 hours, depending on how many uh, times the, the poison is taken or uh, how much the overdose is done. Then comes the treatment. When a patient comes to you, you have to immediately do stomach wash. Then you can uh, wash the bowel by giving purgatives. Then you can give atropine, um, which will act on the heart and um, reverse the symptoms. You can also give potassium supplements. The main antidotes are propran uh, propanolol and uh, novocaine. You can also give EDTA and you have to monitor ECG. Then come the post-mortem symptoms or post-mortem appearance. These are very um, mild. Mostly irritation of the stomach can be seen or any leaves or seed in the stomach can be seen. The, post, uh, the medical legal significance is that it can be accidental by taking an overdose by the patient or it can be homicidal and it is very important homicidal because it cannot be found in um, the victim's body mostly and is considered as overdose for the patient.